Greetings everyone, this is Constantino, and I'm here to finally discuss more Masters of the Universe news regarding the cartoon and new toys. Um, so it was released on the February 24th that the Masters of the Universe, Mattel specifically, has released info regarding both of their upcoming uh, TV shows, the CGI and Kevin Smith's Revelations, and three toys regarding um, Smith's show, plus another a Lego. Well, I'm not Imagine X. It might be Imagine X. It might be something else. I don't know what the brand is, but I basically want to call them all Legos because you step on one, it's the end of your foot. Regardless, so they released a Lego toys of um, Battle Cat and a picture of He Man and Battle Cat from the CGI show. That CGI show of which I still cannot find that Skeletor picture. So, anyway, let's get into this. This comes from Toy Arc. Link will be in the description as always. Today Mattel held a virtual analyst day meeting. During the online call, assorted prepper presentations were made by various departments. Among the presentations, the very first look at some of the all new Master of the Universe items were revealed. Presentation gives us our very first look at the upcoming Masters of the Universe cartoon, which will be CGI. This is not the Kevin Smith's Masters of the Universe Revelation show, which is tied to the Filmation series, but an all-new Masters of the Universe adventure coming to Netflix. The image shows the new design for both He-Man and Battle Cat. Even more exciting for collectors is our first look at the Masters of the Universe 7-inch scale action figures. The image gives us our first look at He-Man, Battle Cat, Skeletor, and Evil Lynn. Also revealed is a new Mega Constructs Battle Cat. Here's what they had to say about Masters of the Universe. But the blockbuster news of 2021 will be the return of Masters of the Universe. They like to say that a lot. Last year we set the stage with the launch of special action figures and truly awesome Castle Grayskull targeting fans and collectors. Adding cultural relevance, uh, we collaborated with legendary artist and pop culture icon Madaski for a limited edition collection through Mattel Creations that sold out in minutes. And this year we are we go all the way. 2021 will be the first time the franchise has been supported with episodic content in nearly 20 years and now it's getting two separate series on Netflix. The first legendary filmmaker Kevin Smith's contemporary reimagining is called Master of the Universe Revelation and is it already is incredible has incredible buzz. There's here's a peek at what's coming, and we'll follow this with a new and animated series, He-Man and Master of the Universe, a fun reboot for kids, bringing in a whole new generation of enthusiasts. Master of the Universe has been a top priority since we began leveraging our catalog IP, and we've done it right. We've built a tremendous anticipation and buzz among the many loyal fans of the franchise. We have world-class talent and co-creating with us. So, okay. <clears throat> so let's get to this. Now, of course, here's going. Here's the Battle Cat. Imagine X Battle Cat. Um, myself, I, I have nothing really to say. It, it looks. It's a Lego set. I'm not really good with Lego. I've seen what people can do with stuff like Imagine X, Legos, and all of that stuff. I crap. You know what? I've seen what can people can do in video games like God like um Minecraft. I wish I would could bring out I have a decent imagination, 
like he just, I'm just shit at bringing it out, so unfortunately. Um, the Battle Cat and He Man for the new CGI show. Okay, Battle Cat looks completely awesome. I'm going to give him big props on that. Battle Cat's armor is amazing, so I'm not going to knock that. Um, more people who are more traditionalist about it. Okay, fine, that's your prerogative, but honestly, I, I love the new armor for Battle Cat. He-Man's look, I'm okay with He-Man's look. I, if I'm going to have a nitpick, then it's a nitpick. Yeah, I would say his head looks really small <laughs> on that on that body of his. Um, the sword, the sword of power. Um, and you know what? They did something new with the early 2000s. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. So, it, I mean, I, it does remind me a little bit of the um, Star Saber from uh, Transformers Prime. But like I said, these are two little nitpicks. Let's get to the part where I'm going to actually have something to say. These three, Masters of the Universe. Let's start with Skeletor. Skeletor is Skeletor. I have never seen anyone mess this up. Even in the live-action movie back in the 80s, I could say that was Skeletor. Like, I knew that was Skeletor as soon as he popped up. Really like the design. They tweaked it a little bit. I like the, the, the look of the um, Havoc staff. So, yeah. Nothing wrong with Skeletor. Well, let's go to He-Man and Battle Cat. Okay. He-Man and Battle Cat. I don't have a really issue with He-Man. They gave him a longer sword. Um, overall, He-Man looks like He-Man. Battle Cat... That... Battle Cat's helmet bugs me. Nitpick here again. Overall... Yeah, it, it's fine. Battle Cat's fine. Just the helmet looks... Like those two things that come down on his sides, where they have them out a longer and more out like that. Um, and I think it's just, I think it's just the way the. Uh, <clears throat> he also gives me a derpy kind of derpy thing, but I don't think it's the um, figure's fault. I think it's just the can the way they put the camera. Okay, and then there's Evil Lynn. Um, Evil Lynn looks like she came out of Av Avatar The Last Airbender, that she's a part of the Water Tribe. Maybe Sokka and Yui's uh, long lost daughter. In fact, um, Whatever, you know. I'm not a particular fan of this take on how she looks. Long hair, I'm long hair is fine. I mean, this is I think this is a couple years after all the events from the original series. Um, so I can see her having longer hair. She's going. I, I'm going to assume they're going to make her. She, they're going to age her up a little bit. I'm. I'm not sure. Um, I will say, if they were going to change her, I would have, I mean, 2000, the early 2001, like, gave her a skirt, which they're trying to do in this by giving her, like, this jack, sleeveless jacket, or, clo or cloak, or whatever they want to call it. I would have rather have seen her either more like her, either the early 2000s version, I would probably go more for the movie version of Evil Lynn. So, um, but overall, my overall thing, I'm, I'm okay with the majority of it. The look of the CGI 
E-Man. Especially the um, Battle Cat. Um, the figures, if the figures are, if these are like, not like, they didn't take pictures of the prototypes. Like, I'm, for the Evil Lynn, I'm almost hoping that was a, that's a proto, like a uh, early version and they're not done tweaking it, but I got a feeling that that is what we're going to get. Um, because I, I don't know how, how far into the animation stuff they are, so, but, and then there's, yeah, there's the Imaginex Battle Cat, which, hey, for all you Imaginex people, cool, go on you. Um, so yeah, so that's my thoughts on all of that. Um, I'll have to watch the, I'm going to have to see how these go. You know, I'm still curious about the spy and all the BS that's been coming out, which that's been the usual people talk, the talking heads talking and stuff like that. So, um, not sure I'll, another thing that makes me wonder is that they gave, um, Skeletor like hands that like, these are your hands. <laughs> I have have karate chop action. <laughs> you can't stop me, man. So yeah, we finally got some information. Um, well, the toys don't look the toys don't look too bad. Like I said, Evil Lynn looks like uh, she fit just as well in your. Um, Last Airbender collection as anything else. Uh, Skeletor definitely. Uh, well, Skeletor, Skeletor. i like again. I've never seen that anybody like royally screw up Skeletor. So, um, yeah. So, uh, looking really forward to this. This is going to be very, very interesting. Something to look forward to later this year. So, um, yeah. So that's all for me. And I um, hope hope you enjoyed, you know, YouTube stuff and all that crap. So there you go. Uh, more information about that. Again, article will be in the description, the bottom, and the uh, yeah, I'll be in the description. So you know. Do all that YouTube jazz if you liked the video. And I'll hopefully talk to you again later.